So recently I did a couple of Bob Ross paintings um, and there was one that gave me a bright idea. I've got the camera upside down here so I'll try to invert the video later. If not, you'll have to stand on your head or something. But I hope the angle doesn't give you a headache. This one. Now, to prep the canvas for this one, he said paint it yellow, put a little disc of, uh, he calls it contact paper, but uh, I used the uh, masking tape for the circle over the yellow and then paint over the top in black acrylic and that'll give you a base for the for the oil paint right and it made me think it got me thinking um because i quite like space and and uh sci-fi and stuff and it made me think if if this here these clouds here uh, i haven't made a very good job of this but you could do that you can you, it looks to me like a bit like a nebula you know like a like a gas cloud or whatever you get in space you see the photographs of space so i was thinking i could use a similar a similar method to produce a space scene instead of instead of the earth here i could have uh like a moonscape and maybe a, a rocket taking off in the background and then I could use this same procedure to make a, a bunch of uh, planets in the foreground, do the nebula, stars, then then reveal the planets. Maybe I could have a, you know like the rings of Saturn and a moon or two, and then and in the foreground I could have maybe a, a rocket taking off, you know, uh, leaving some you know the jet trail behind it, and th and then a moonscape. That's the idea I have in my imagination. So I have the canvas here. I'm going to sketch. I'm going to try and sketch this. Get a rough idea of what I'm doing on paper first. If, if I, I'm thinking, if I do fifty percent greens and fifty percent purples or or blues, probably purples. Make that look like space. Put the Get a you know stick, fling some dots of mostly white and then maybe yellows and and blues and greens to look like stars and other distant galaxies, and then I could have try and get like an arc shaped moonscape in the foreground. Perhaps not that extreme. Um, I could have a planet, a big planet here, you know, and I could have perhaps a ring around it, then another, perhaps another planet here, and maybe maybe another one just there. They are too similar in size. I don't know. I can make this one smaller. I'll put maybe, and then and then have some, you know, some spacey-looking mountains, some rock formations, you know, some first men in the moon, so that kind of stuff. A couple of craters. Perhaps I could have a crater. Perhaps, yeah, I could have a crater there. Some others, you know. And then have a, a rocket taking off. You know, like a proper, you know, like Planet Express Buck Rogers job. Um, coming out of the crater. I think that would look pretty sick. Um, so the question is, what order do I need to do these in? And if the light source is here, I need to give these planets halos, because, not halo, you know what I mean, like crescent moons, where you can, you can only see the light side of the planet. Something like this. Something a bit like that, and then maybe, yeah, I don't know, on the rocket too. But the rocket would be illuminated from the bottom as well, wouldn't it? By its own light there. 
So in what order do I, would I need to apply the paint? Because good old Bob, he always says start at the back and move forward. So obviously the background needs to be black and then you build up from there. But I actually want to do the planets first, don't I? So I need, I'll need a, if this is black and this is in colour, I'll need to cut out these shapes, these crescent moon shapes. So, yeah, and for the for the rings as well. If I'm gonna, if the rings, it what's you know, it'll be a bit like that, like a metallic sort of texture to them. It's proper ratchet and clank stuff, right? That section would be in shadow, in its own shadow, it's completely invisible. And there would be a curve to it, I guess. Would there be a curve to it, I guess? What aspect? I'll have to think about that. So I need to, how do I do this? I want to put the colour on first. So yeah, I'll block that out, block that out in colour. One colour. Doesn't matter for the shape yet, because that's the that's going to be covered with black. So I'll come up with a paint for country colour for this paint, maybe green. So number one colour. Yeah, and then number two, black. For the the uh, crossing void of space, right? But before I do the black, I need to cut out a shape. Before I do the black, I need to cut out a shape for the for this crescent to cover that. Then do the rest black, then cover it again. So I need to cut out a disc, two discs the same shape, same size for all of these planets. Then I need to cut out another disc. Yeah, I need to cut two the same for each one, and then on one of them trim, trim the crescent out, just to make sure they're the same diameter, and then cover that, and paint the whole thing black. Then cover each planet with a black disc and this section of the rings. Then paint my nebula and the stars, yeah? And then, then peel the tape off, revealing the planets with the black, and that will contrast against the black then. That will be completely black against the black background that now has colour on it, completing the shape of the planets. And then I can paint the foreground. Do I need to do I need to mask off the, the spaceship or do I put that on? Do I put that on? Do I paint that on last or, or maybe do that separately and glue it on the top? That's cheating of it, isn't it? Try and make the whole thing one complete painting. So what colour does the spaceship need to be? I'm going to go on the internet for a minute and look at some, you know, like old Yes album covers and so on, that kind of crap, and get some inspiration. Okay, so um, I found these collection of uh, oil, uh, acrylic paint that I did not know I had. I must, I must, these must still be relics from, from school, I guess. Uh, so we could have a nice, we could have oh, a nice, a nice pink. Oh yeah, do one of these planets in pink. Oh, I should say maybe one in blue. Got a nice purple there as well. Or we could have a nice earth looking one. But no. The void of space is a cold, dark, uninhabitable place, so let's not pretend there's any life out there. Yeah, I could have a nice a nice rose there. I mean I'm making the fuck Christ knows it. These could all be completely buggered actually if they're Acrylic is uh, water based, isn't it? Yeah, that feels hard. No, we might, we might, we might manage something. The reason you want to use acrylic for the base is because it goes dry quick. And if it's just going to be one solid colour, then whack it on, stencil it. That's exactly what acrylic's for, making posters and stuff. Oils are for when you want to blend it. Although I have seen some amazing things that people do with uh, acrylic paints. Look at that, the theme hospital. When was the last time you saw a copy of Theme Hospital, eh? Please don't feed the vermin. That's a good rule for life, that is. Don't feed the vermin. I should say that's about right for that one. Yeah, Theme Hospital's a bit big, I think. I guess. That one, that one, 
a mat, yeah? So what did I say? I need two, I'll put that away for a wreck it, it looks an antique. Two of each. Now the way I make these, get a bit of baking paper, whatever this is, you know, uh, grease, grease paper, grease proof paper, whatever you want to call it, and um, I'll just put down strips, strips of masking tape, Cover the necessary area, and then you can cut it out. Don't need the scissors. You want these to overlap, obviously, because they're going to form one big sheet. They do make thicker. There's probably some version of this you can get specifically designed for this purpose, but I don't know what it is. You can get thicker masking tape too. buggeration. Forgot about the rings of satin, didn't I? Ah, well. You could, of course, use a compass. Uh, the only problem with compasses is... Compasses? Is? Compass is... is. It stabs a hole in the centre, doesn't it? Which might lead to paint getting in there. I wouldn't know, I've never tried it. It's much easier just to draw around something that's already circular. Obviously I want to get these as exactly to the line as I can because they're both going to overlap and they need to be the same size. Cool. So, how do I do the rings? So, if the source of light is here, the part of this planet that's going to be visible will be something like that. Am I right? Yeah? And for this one, same question. <clears throat> if the source of light is going to be there, it's going to be pole to pole, a crescent there. Like this. Alright, should I be using, do you think I should use that as a... No. That's not how geometry works, you bell. No. Same question, boop de boop boop, actually it doesn't matter, what an idiot, it doesn't matter where I draw these, <laughs> because I can put the bloody things on it any angle I want, can oh, uh... You saw the whole of the moon. So, I guess I'll cut these, that'll be 
paint that whatever color I want, put that on top for each in each in each put that on top, then color the whole thing black, then put these on. And then when I peel the whole thing off, it will reveal the black, the shading part of the planet, and the coloured part of the planet against the colourful background. Well, that's the way to do it. Alrighty then, so we're at this point. Um, I'm quite happy with that so far. Now the spaceship, I guess it's got a window, hasn't it? It's got a window there. I want that to be bright, bright. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I didn't think about the design of my spaceship here. Do I just do a simple, a simple grand day out job with a port, circular porthole in it? Or do I do more of a, you know, more of a sort of Planet Express with a with an actual cockpit? The thing is, I want this to, bloody hell, don't lose that. I want this to look relatively oh yeah, that might do it. And then maybe a porthole either side. Big tail fin. You want at the top, don't you? Every, every, everything needs three. Oh, I'm not going to worry too much about the shadows on this, I don't think, because this rocket's going to be booting out a lot of fire and shit from the bottom of it, isn't it? So I need to think about my background colours. If I want to put down the clear, maybe a transparent blue first. Matter of fact, I need to paint the I need to paint the landscape before two black four nebula. Five stars. Six. If that's going to overlap there, it might do it. Six. Remove planet tape. So colour. Cover that. Black. Cover that. Colour plus cover. Black plus cover. And then remove the planet tape. Seven. Paint. Land. Okay. And then after the land, I want to a paint uh, flames. And then nine peel rocket. Now, if I want the rocket to have <clears throat> white windows, I guess brilliant white. I guess, yeah. I suppose I might as well leave the canvas blank. I might as well just stick. So I want these little shapes for the thing, and then and then stick stick tape on there, right? Then go over the go over the rocket ship in whatever thing I should do the fins separate or at least this top one I should do this top one separate shouldn't I because it needs to contrast against the body of the ship one color X put an X there too black so yeah I need stencils for this and the body of the ship along with the legs and a separate one for this top whatever you call that rudder fin or whatever you want to call it maybe even yeah maybe even yeah maybe even do the separate a separate one for each for each fin and the body do them all separately then I can do everything else peel the the legs off this the rocket these two then paint in the the fire because it might it might encroach on these two legs a bit, and then peel the rest of the rocket. That's the way to do it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the stencils for this rocket right now.
And I need to do the rings of satin as well, don't I? All right, these are keepers. By Jove, I think I've got it. Poor Jesus, with the dodgy lighting conditions, the sun's coming round. I've had to move to the other side of the table. Actually, I spent about 15 minutes trying to work out how to get some more light on the scene before I realised I could simply move to the other side of the table. Now, look at that, eh? That's a, that's a streamlined machine there. That's, that's, that's... Yes, that's the stunt ship from Hitchhikers, isn't it? Right. So I want <clears throat> separate, separate stickers for the windows, the body of the ship, and each tail fin. That's scrap, isn't it? I can reuse that. I wonder if I can trace this. Ooh, I might be able to, you know, I might be in luck. It's not a thousand miles away, that one, I think. Let's cut it out and see how close we are. Oh yes, made to measure, look at that. Another one of those exactly opposite. Same thing but opposite. Bum, 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 bum. I guess this doesn't have to be exact, just close enough. Just close enough. Yeah, I think that may well be the dictionary definition of close enough. I'll shave a little bit more off here. That's the money right there. Dollar dollar bill, motherfucker. So you got those in the keepers. Spaceship legs. There's a big one that goes down the back. There's a hole at the bottom of the seat. Mm. It comes up to about there. So the base, the base of the leg, it's stuck to the side of the rocket, and then the leg itself. You ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. Yes, I know that. Yeah, it's got to be about right, I reckon. Oh yeah! Use that for the windows. And then we've got all the stencils, I think, ladies and germs. Do you think it would be worth making a stencil for the bottom half and then I could just get a nice sharp edge? I don't know, I'll think about it while I do this. Bloody hell, miles away, huh? Seeing things that don't exist. That's about right, I reckon. Put my body over the ship. What's the time? Nearly six o'clock. What's the time? Doing some food. Some screen.
Well. Don't get much better than that, does it, ladies and gentlemen? I got the fins in the body. Put the lime in the coconut and mix it all up. What we need now is the windows and we are, oh, and then we need the ring and then we are ready to start thinking about putting down some paint. Two little portholes like that. Pretty good, pretty good. Right then, I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, the rings of satin over here. And then I'm gonna call it a day and pick this up tomorrow or the day after or whenever the bloody hell I decide to finish it off. I'm going to need two identical, aren't I? For the same reason that I needed two of each planet. Yeah. Is that correct? Is that correct? No. You want a maisonette in basic stuff. Right. Um. Dun, 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 dun. Cylinder following the cylinder. And nothing and nobody is left now to stop them. The earth belonged to the Martians. It's not a thousand miles away, is it, for the rings of Saturn? Yeah, I can live with that. Well, would you look at that, eh? That's that's a bit of halo, that isn't it? Okay, so it's the next day. Um, I was a bit slow out the blocks today because yesterday was Good Friday and well, that was all the excuse that me and my old man needed to put parts of the Caribbean in the DVD player and drink half a bottle of rum. Um, why do we do it to ourselves, eh? Anyway, here we are. I've been having to think about this... Uh, this planet. Now, initially what I was thinking was this could be a crater and the, the rocket could be shooting out of a crater as if this was some sort of moon. But thinking about it, it needn't be a moon. You know, I could do mountains instead of craters using the Bob Ross method and I could do them red maybe like Mars instead, rather than white like a moon because if I did mountains that were white it might just look like a snow, a ski lodge. And I could put a moon up in the sky, where the moons usually are, right? This could be a plane, but something like rap, something off Ratchet and Clank. <sighs> but I want this rocket to be emerging from behind something. So it would be a mountain range that I could do just here. So I'm thinking, if I made a another stencil, another sticky back stencil for the for the terrain, and then yet another one for the for this terrain. I could paint it in dark dark red or whatever, or whatever colour I want the planet to be. 
as a base and then cover that before I do the background in black. That way, when I'm finished with the sky, yeah, when I'm finished with the sky, I can peel this half off, do the, the rocket, the trail of the rocket, paint in, paint in the mountains with the knife, yeah, do the mountains, then do the rocket, then peel off this stencil and there'll be a nice crisp edge. I could even make it look like there's light bleeding out from behind this mountain range, I think. And then and then peel that off and it'll give you a nice crisp edge to do these mountains and, and give it some depth. I've done, I've done this Bob Ross previously. These are the sort of mountains, I mean. So, yeah, I want to do the background and then take the stencil off, uncovering all of this except leaving this bit covered. Then I want to paint these mountains, make them look like the light's protruding, then peel that off and then do these mountains. So, this stencil needs to go down first, and then this one on top. So I'll peel that off first and leave this one there. Yeah? This wants to drop off sharply. That will disappear down behind that mountain outside. Outside, man. And the Jedi I admired most. Met up with Darth Maul and now he's toast But I'm still here and he's a ghost Hmm Not too bad, a little bit out of whack but not too bad Not too bad at all You drive up through the Cascade Mountains, is it the Cascade Mountains? To a town called Bend and uh I mean, I still bloody well up about it sometimes. I mean, that, that, that's bizarre, right? But if there's any pretty ladies out there living in Oregon, uh, I'll, 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 I will, uh, I'll come and put a ring on it if you like. We're getting there, we're getting closer now. We've got all of our stencils now. One last thing I need to do before we start putting paint on a canvas is cut the rings of satin into the right aspect because one of them is a shadow and then we are away, I think. Now I think I want these in this, in this sort of aspect, yeah? One of them is going to be the shade. Because this planet will be cast in a shadow on its own rings, won't it? If the light source is here. This is going to be colour. And this is going to be shadow. So I need to remove that section. No, paint that. Put that stencil on one. Paint the ring. Put that stencil on two. Paint it black. Three. Put that stencil on. And this one. Yeah. And while I'm at it, put these two. Do these two planets. And that's the background. I also want to do windows for the spaceship in white. I'm going to use white, I think, to put the body of the spaceship on. I want there to be a bit of shading. I want this fin to stand out against these two. Right. So what colours do we have? Let's have a look. We've got a big tube of black, I know that. Two portholes and a windscreen. 
Hold on to your butts. I'm hoping that is that going to stay. So that's the colour for the windows. So now I need to choose a, a colour for this plant. Should we say green, blue, and then white for a moon? Shit, I haven't got any white. Ooh, that's a nice one. Mauve. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the big green one. Yeah. Let's so put a bit of yellow in to start. I haven't bothered to mix these two thoroughly on the old brush there because uh, that fake looks, you know, you know, planets aren't, the, well, some of them are, but you're only using, always going to be a uniform colour, is it? Not oh, good old Mother Earth. There's all kinds of different colours. Yeah. That's plenty. Yeah, boy, that should look pretty good, I reckon. Now, the blue one is going to go here. Something I have, it has occurred to me. Um, ooh. That looks nice. I think I'm going to leave that just the way it is. I just don't want the, I just don't want this. The, you know, to show through the black afterwards. So, mate, I'll tell you what, it never, it never ceases to amaze me how quickly this acrylic dries, especially on warm days like these. All you've got to do is go for a piss and your fucking painting's gone dry. Hashtag historic. Oh, my God. Hey, and there's our lovely pink planet, I reckon. Right, so those are the base colours for our three planets. But those dry red rose. Ooh, freshy. Okay, let's come up with a colour for the for the for the for the ground. The reason I'm stabbing at it like this and wrecking my brush um, is because that's the best way to apply apply the paint onto the canvas I find, get it on there, and then you can smooth it later. But if you try to use brush strokes to get it on, it doesn't, it just won't go, you just won't have it. Right. Ah. Now my brush is wet, so it's diluting the fucking paint. Don't panic! 
Everything's under control. Yeah, no, I've dropped water here and it's and it's the only thing for this is to let it dry and, and do another layer on it. Oh good god in heaven. I'm never drinking again. Alright, so it's dry. I'm not happy with this colour, it's too dark. I'm gonna redo this. I don't know if I've got any bloody red left, but The chances of anything coming from Mars. Don't you just love the smell of rain? That's nice, isn't it? That's nice. So I need to wait that, that dry. I need to do the ring on Saturn and it's colouring the rocket. I want the body of the rocket to be distinguishable against the legs or the fins, the stabiliser fins, whatever they are. Why you need stabiliser fins in space, I haven't got a clue. Well, then again, it wouldn't even need to be aerodynamic in space, would it? I just reckon that's why the Borg have had square ships. Oh good, the Air Force is here in their new round planes. We don't have round planes, sir. I'm going to wait for this to dry properly and then put the stencil on. Actually, no, I ain't. No, I ain't, because I might as well paint the spaceship. While I'm waiting. I'm assuming this stuff's still in in working order. Uh, Christ only knows how old it is. <laughs> Tempted to use my teeth, but it's going to go in my mouth. I want to look like bloody nuts from Mad Max. Probably end up in the fucking hospital. Lovely colour though. That's going to look brilliant on the spaceship. Doc Dodgers in the 24th and a half century! Oh, that's been stirred to buggery, I think that should do the job. Look at that. Lovely. Eyes immeasurably superior to ours, regardless of anything. Cause you're not here! Nothing and nobody was left now to fight them. Now I'll see the trick with this tab here. That's about right, that's about right. And now it's time to paint the ring, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Where do I want the extremities of this to be? 
this planet's going to be cast in a shadow on its own ring. So I want the giggity, so I want the one to be there, don't I? And the other one to be roughly here. So what colours do I want to use for, for my ring? Some browns, I reckon. Um, Tell you what, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give that silver another layer, another coat. Good strong Soviet paint. So I'm we'll waiting for that to set. I might as well put the stencils on these two other planets. Little follow her out me planet. Close enough. It was on the floor along with this P from 1998. Right. The rocket goes there, yeah? There's the windows of the spaceship. Yeah, no, that's about perfect. Oh, it's a little out of whack. It's on square, nice and straight, in line with the. This silver paint's really nice. It's got like a rainbow in the in the in the light. It's got like a rainbow effect to it. Oh, we're in. A black wash, really. Now, the rings of satin. Now I'm going to remove the bit that we need to save for later. I was just making sure that I'd got that. Remember, that's not rubbish. Tits up, big baz. We're in. <sighs> now. This is the stage at which I need to do this, isn't it? There's nothing else on it put on. That's that's going to be a shadow. That's going to be a shadow. That's done. That's going to be a shadow. So is that. And the sky is going to be black. I've covered the land. Yeah, okay.
This is going to take a few layers, I reckon. Look, I can see the, I can see the uh, silver st still. <laughs> Nearly had a stroke then. I thought, I'd... see, this is all very. This should give you a bloody nervous break. I'm trying to be clever here with it, with it, with this paint, with these stencils. I mean. And uh, I keep thinking, oh shit, I've done that arse about face, you know. I, 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 I'm trying to get the horizontal brush strokes into the paint because I ain't got a clue how long it's going to be before this um, black sets, but I know it ain't going to be very long. And once it's off, it's off. You'd have thought by now that I come up with a bit of design, wouldn't you, for bottles and stuff? Because you never, you, no matter what you do, you'll never get the last dregs out the bottom, will you? Unless you're my grandmother, God rest her, with a Christmas bottle of Advocar, bloody hell, far she'd have that thing propped up, you know, upended for about two days, trying to get the last of the dregs out there. Right. I'm going to let this go dry and then I'm going to give it another coat. I think all I need to do now is cover these with stencils and then I'm ready to do the painting. Uh, I ended up giving this three coats of acrylic because you could see the silver through the paint here. You still kind of can, but I don't want to put any more on. I'm afraid I'm going to run the risk of gluing these stencils uh, permanently to the canvas so I'm just going to leave it like that. I notice I've gone wrong here with the stencil. This, the planet here, the silhouette is getting, well the, you know, the crescent is going to appear to be in front of the ring there when it shouldn't be. Uh, but if that's the only cock up I've made in the whole thing I reckon we're in luck. Try and line this up exactly. If I over, if I overlap that, if I overlap this one, the green's going to have a black halo around it. I don't want that. I think whatever that cup was must have been rounder. I don't think that's quite perfectly round. Right then, to the easel. So I'll just Say a little prayer to whatever evil spirits keeping Jim alive and hopefully I won't get any all over my vest. If I want to get this kind of effect here, I need to use alizarin crimson, phthalo blue and phthalo green for the space, you know? I can do that, that'll create like a nebula kind of thing, right? The, uh, the blast from the rocket is going to be blue, I've decided that wants to be blue. So if I have blue here, maybe I can mix, if I mix blue with red, will that make a sort of mauve colour? Yeah, I'll do the, I'll do the green, I'll do the mauve here and the green there. See if I can mix some mauve. So I'm going to take a blob of green, <coughs> phthalo green, 
Or was it blue? I want to mix blue. I want to mix blue, don't I? I'm blue and red together. That's just made black. Yeah, that's just an inky. Yeah, no, back to the drawing board. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to use the colours as they come out of the tube. Right, thalo blue, thalo green, and lizard in crimson. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. For starters, I want blue here. Right. Good with that. Okay, red on red on the left. Hey, why not? Who cares? <coughs> And green on the right, right? Clean my brush. That red looks too red to me. The last time this happened, I'll just wipe it down with some rag and fetch most of that back off again. Right, I'm hoping that's about the right amount. I can do a space, can't I? If I do a, a galaxy that kind of goes like this, yeah? Yeah. A galaxy that kind of goes like this, yeah? Yeah. And then I need to peel that off and do this terrain and then do the jet, the rocket jet, yeah? I think he used a touch too much white there.
Perhaps I shouldn't have wiped so much of that red off. It's not really picking it up. Let's we'll see how it goes. Persevere. I want to go around and scrape off all of the excess. This is quite an important step I found. When I did my previous one, I wish I'd scraped more of this off. Careful with stencils, obviously. memory serves, I can start to blend it in. This isn't really going the way I planned it in my imagination, but hey, let's keep going. I think also I've reached the point now where the paint thinner is it's actually putting more shit back on the brush than it's taking off. What I've done here is I've put way too much white on with the fan brush just there. I don't think I need it anywhere near that much. Because if I want that to, I, I mean, I was hoping that would be still be virtually black so I could then paint stars over the top of it. We'll see how it goes. I might be able to take some of that off again with some thinners.
Anyway, all might not be lost here. This seems to be working quite well. Well, really, that ain't god awful, right? It's an interesting and effective, nothing else. I'm going to stick a bit more white You're right in the centre where I want the centre of the galaxy or whatever it is to be.
uh, no, so I want to do the, I want to do stars, I want to do flick some paint at it, yeah, to create the illusion of stars. Then that's the sky finished. Stars are white, usually, right, and they can be red and blue as well, can't they? Light. Now how am I going to, if I flick with this brush, I think that's the way to do it, but I've just painted my floor, so I'm going to do this outside. Oh my god, what have I done? Pretty good, eh? Make do some do some red ones. Now some blue ones. I'd say that's about right, wouldn't you? Yeah, that'll do. Don't want to overdo it. I reckon that'll do us. I think the next thing to do is to take this stencil off and do the land. But I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a, a light refreshment and uh, a sig. I'd stand there and look at it for a while, just to make sure. Because if I buggered it up at this stage, I think I'd have to kill myself. Right, mountains. Annoyingly enough, the, the battery died and I've lost the previous file. Anyway, I've just started trying to do the mountains. I've used pure alizarin crimson there. I don't know whether 
I should have mixed some in with it. Because that's see-through almost, isn't it? So it does a, re a very nice strange out of this world. Uh, colour to it, so whatever. I just stuck some black in here. Let's try and get a dark, a dark red. Tell you what I've done wrong. This background here should be darker, shouldn't it? The background should be darker than the foreground. Uh, it's a completely different colour. Doesn't matter. Oh, that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. Now for the jet, the jet coming out the bottom of the rock here. If I just make a blob of white there, and I can drag it down with a brush, right? I have a one of it, this rocket blast shining up from behind the hill. I guess if I uh, use my big brush. If I dab a lot of phthalo blue there, put some white here and drag it. You reckon that'll work? Give it a try.
I think that's not too bad. Don't really matter, do I? So now for the other, this other stencil. You paint these mountains, yeah? I don't want to flip the angle with the light. I think the light would be hanging on this side because the light source is there and here.
Well, it's far from perfect, but I would say it's not awful, wouldn't you? I mean, who knows what the surface of this plane looks like anyway. All right, well now it's time to remove the stencils, isn't it? All right, hold on to your butts. Careful. Well, there you go. There's a bit of stencil here I can't get off right at the bottom of the leg. Um, should have made the stencil in the other way, the other direction, because this one peels straight off. And all you know, it's bled through there a bit on, on the silver around the edges. Didn't quite, didn't quite pan out the way I had it in my imagination, but I'll tell you what, it's not a million miles away, is it? All right then. Right, it's so the next day. I've been looking at this. I've decided that this brown area here looks weird. So I'm going to try and fill this in with the red. And then the, my idea is I'll wait for it to come dry completely, come back and redo the blue.
I like this easel, it was very cheap, but covers the bits of the bloody fire. If that goes in there, it'll affect the paint, so it's quite irritating. Yeah, I think that's better, that looks a lot more complete. This is all still wet. But I do intend to go around that with a marker pen as well. But I'll wait for it to dry first so I can lean on it and get and get this, you know. I might even put some other colours in the rings of satin there. Uh, yeah, I think I'm done with their mountains. Space. What I'm attempting to do now is just to touch touch this up here where, where the edge of that planet just clips the uh, just clips the ring where it shouldn't. We've all been there, right? Okay, I think that's got it. So it might have slightly different colour, but what are you going to do? Perfect. You have to get your face right up onto it to see it anyway. Um, can I, do you reckon I can get away with Yeah, I'll well, incorporate some colour into the into the rings. Or whether I should wait for it to dry out so I can get my so I can get my hand on it properly. I think some yellow would look nice on there. Wouldn't be a bit wasteful. At least the acrylic isn't quite as expensive as uh, oil, so you can afford to waste a bit of it, but always best not to, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should have waited for this to dry because it's picking up, picking up the wet oil paint.
All right, that's added a little bit of colour to it, made it look a bit more interesting. Right, I'm going to leave it now until it's time to attack the ship. That doesn't look too bad actually, I might even leave that the way it is. Because uh, <clears throat> the minute you start trying to put paint on top of uh, a rough surface, Obviously these mountains here, there's a lot of paint there, that's going to that's gonna be a raised surface. So if I'm trying to do my blue and pull it out like that, it's going to catch, it's going to fill in the divots. I might cock up the entire painting by trying that. So I guess the thing to do is to not to uh, overdo it. Alright then, uh, here we are. We are almost finished. I'm not quite happy with the edge of this spaceship. I think it needs neatening up a bit. Um, so, if I go around the side that's closest to the light source with silver, and then maybe the edge that's furthest away with black, Sharpies, you think that'll work? Oh, please God, don't let me fuck this up now. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to do the silver first. Because I think I feel as though the black is most risky. Now do we just go around the whole thing in silver? I'll do that first, see how it looks, and then come back with the black if I want to. See the thing is, I want to I want to make a make a definition there between the bodywork of the plane and the uh, and and the wings because you can't see any of this, can you? And I guess I'll do the windows as well, why not? You know what? I'm gonna leave that how it is now through fear of fucking it up. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too.
we shall send to the moon 240,000 miles away from the control station in Houston, a giant rocket more than 300 feet tall, the length of this football field, made of new metal alloys, some of which have not yet been invented, capable of standing heat and stresses, several times more than have ever been experienced, fitted together with a precision better than the finest watch, carrying all the equipment needed for propulsion, guidance, control, communications, food, and survival on an untried mission to an unknown celestial body, and then return it safely to Earth, re-entering the atmosphere at speeds of over 25,000 miles per hour, causing heat about half that on the temperature of the sun, almost as hot as it is here today, and do all this, and do all this, and do it right, and do it first, before this dictator's out, then we must be bold. Thanks for watching. I've been chatting squit. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Please do subscribe. It takes about two minutes to make a YouTube account and it will be doing me a real favour. Catch you next time.